And then this is the saddle. going to be hitching a miniature horse to a dog sled and um, I'm going to be teaching Danny how to drive a little bit. This is their first driving lesson, first time driving period. And then we're also going to um, be hitching one of the big horses to a drag that I have. We call it the magic carpet. So it's kind of like snow surfing. So Brandy has a YouTube channel called Bristol Horsemanship and I want a thousand of you guys to go over there and subscribe to her right now. I'm Brandy and I've been giving riding lessons for a little over 20 years and I've been Danny's riding instructor since she pretty much just started walking. We go way back. <laughs> On my YouTube channel I try to stick with um, fun things that we do around the farm, how to do certain things and a lot of instruction, um, just plain fun Fun things to do with horses. Great for beginners, and there's some things on there that are really good for advanced riders as well. And she has a, good, a bunch of great videos, and I want a thousand of you guys to go over right now and subscribe to her. Check it out, thanks. Have you driven any of your minis? Mm, I tried to drive Ruby once, but it ended out horribly. <laughs> okay, so, all right, well, here's your formal instruction. So, here's our breast collar, here's the traces. This is what connects to the vehicle, okay? So, we don't need the full harness when we're pulling the dog sled or any kind of um, thing without shafts. We just need, just need, basically, this is the most important part, okay? This is called the saddle, and Last time I had it on Miss Rosie, it was very difficult to do up because she has like three inches of fluff hair-wise and weight-wise. So it just needs to be adjusted. All right, so your saddle goes on where your saddle would. This little thing right here would connect to your britchin, but we're not gonna use any of that piece right now. So that goes towards the back. This little thing is for our check ring that goes up top. So there's two pieces underneath. Why don't you come on over here so you can see. Okay, so there's these two pieces here that we've got to do up. And I feel so bad because it's really hard to not pull her hair because she's on the, on the last hole that's really tight. So she needs a different size harness. So I just be real careful not to pull any of that fuzz. And then this one here, same thing. We don't, this one, these don't need to be tight. This one doesn't anyway. Um, neither need to be tight per se, but you want it to be snug, this bottom one. This one should be relatively loose. So this is where our shafts would go. All right, that's the extent of it. All right, I'm gonna take her halter right off because I feel like it's too much bulk underneath. Um, like I'm gonna be leading you for a bit, but I'll just 
you know, take a hold of her by the bitch or something if I need to. The last time I did it with the halter on, there was just too much bulk. I didn't like it. So, I don't like having halters on underneath bridles of any sort anyway. So much hair, and all this hair has got to go through this hole. Now, this has blinds. I do not like driving with blinds. Um, the purpose of a blind is to make it so the horse can't really see what's going on behind them. But I think that's dangerous because if you can't see what's going on behind them, I feel like they'll get more worried about it. So I would rather train my horses to be comfortable with what's going on behind them than to make it so they just don't, it's like, well, if you don't look at it, you won't be afraid of it kind of deal, you know what I mean? I don't like that. That's just me. Um, you can find another. <laughs> We're gonna hitch Rosie to this dog sled, and um, we've got only part of her harness on. We don't need the britchin because there's no brakes on the dog sled besides the actual brake for the sled itself, which is not connected to the horse at all. And now I, with or without Kitty, I'm gonna take my traces, and you're just gonna keep her as still as you can. I'm gonna run my traces through my shaft loops here. The shaft loops are what you would put your shafts through if you had a cart. Rosie likes to go. She's like, come on, take me for a ride. All right. So now, Danny, you're going to hold her as still as you can. Clips go to the inside. I do not like clips on a bit. This is what I have right now. So when I get my new setup, I will not have clips on my lines. Period. Okay. All we need is the dog, and we have the cat, dog, and pony show. All right. So kitty down, lead her forward just a little bit. Okay, go ahead and let her go, Danny. <laughs> Rosie is all go and no woe. We got lots of work to do. Okay, come on. that I have here, we have a breast collar style harness. Um, we've got, here's the breast collar right here, okay? Just like on a, on a saddle horse, you've got your breast collar. And then this is the saddle. And these, the breast collar is attached to the traces. The traces go back and get connected to the vehicle. There is a brake on here. This just gets dropped down on the back. And Danny can demonstrate how you can step on it and that will help slow down the sled to keep it from bumping into the animal. out of a piece of conveyor belt and it has carpet on top for traction and the underside has a strip of fire hose that just keeps it tracking straight 
and it also kind of keeps it from going so fast too because it does get really slick i actually would prefer it have two pieces on there now after using it a bit um and then this is how it gets attached to the horse right here um and from this how we attach it to the horse is we have a single tree this gets attached um to the vehicle and then our traces i have extenders on there because it's it wasn't the right size so it's not set up perfectly but it works for the training that i'm doing on the particular horse that i'm using right now oh. so that's how that works And this is strictly for us having fun. This is not something that I would say you should go and do. And But we're having a good time. We're finding fun ways to enjoy the snow. So guys, that was my video for this week. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Today I learned how to hitch up and drive a mini in a dog sled. So it was fun to learn something new that I can try out at home with my minis when I start to learn, teach them how to drive. I learned something new that I've been wanting to try for a really long time and I want to start teaching my goat Blossom how to pull a cart so I can haul hay bales down to my barn easier. And it's cool to be able to do this in the snow and it's really fun. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe to the Versal Horsemanship YouTube page. And thank you, Brandy, for teaching me how to do this today. And I want everybody to go over and check out her channel. You're welcome, Danny. Thanks for joining me. That was fun. It was fun. So today, 